this video, we will learn what is an array and let's see with your program how an array is created using C program. So let's see. So here, I'm going to write a small program. Here you can see, I'm writing has include std io dot h. So has include stands for preprocessor directive and std io dot h stands for standard input output header file. And this header file contains the printf and scanf functions. Printf function and scanf function so that I can use these functions inside the program. Okay, so now I'm writing void main. So this is the main function from which the execution of the program starts. Opening curly bracket start, then there will be a closing curly bracket. Inside that, I am declaring an array. So int a of five, comma i then semicolon. Okay, int a of i. This is the declaration of an array. And this is the data type that is int is the data type and a of five, five is the size, a is the name of the array. Okay, so next, next in the printf statement, I can write enter the elements of an array. Slash and double quotes and end, bracket and semicolon. Okay. So now I'm using a for loop for i equal to zero semicolon, i less than equal to four semicolon, i plus plus. Opening curly bracket start, then scan f within bracket or centile d double quotes and end ampersand a of i. Bracket and semicolon for loop end. So using this for loop, I can enter five values for the array A. So when this is declared, so this will be created like this. There will be five different locations. I can say this is A of zero, A of one, A of two, a of three and final one is a of four. Okay, so in these locations, I have to store different values. So what is the definition of an array? Array is a collection of homogeneous data elements stored in a contiguous memory location. So here contiguous means adjacent memory location. There will be no gap between one element and the next one. So they will be stored in contiguous memory location. And similar type of data elements means all the elements will be of one type. That is here I have declared int. That means I can store five integer type values inside the array. If I will declare float a of five, then I will have to enter five floating point type values inside the array. Similarly, if uh, I declare character array, so I have to enter five different characters inside the array. So array is a collection of homogeneous data elements stored in a contiguous memory location. Okay, so when we want to store a huge amount of data or lots of amount of data in a similar type or the similar type of data elements are to be stored in a huge amount at that time, we need not have to declare separate variables for each data. So in this case, array helps us to declare a single name with the number of sizes. So if the number of size is five, then I can store five different values inside the array. If the number of uh, size is 10, I can store 10 different values inside the array. 
Similarly, if the size is 100, so if I write int a 100, then I can store 100 different values, 100 different integer type values inside the array. Okay, so this is the advantage of array. With the same name, we can declare multiple number of values. The name will be same, but uh, the location will be different. 100 locations will be there, or 5 locations will be there, or 10 locations will be there. So here I have uh, uh, declared the size is 5, so that I can enter 5 different values. So using for loop, and inside the for loop, I have declared a scanner function, so that I can enter five different values to store in this array. So next, after storing it, I will have to print the array in the display screen. So what will be the next lines of course? <coughs> so printf display, display the array. Or array elements, I can write display the array elements. Colon, slash n, double quotes and bracket and something. So slash n stands for new line character. When it will be printed, the elements will be printed in new line. Next, the same lines of code, I'm repeating for i equal to zero, semicolon, I less than equal to four semicolon I plus plus. Okay. So here in, in the place of scanf, I will have to write printf function because I want to display it in the output screen. So printf percentile D double quotes and end comma A of I, A of I bracket end semicolon. Then for loop close, main function close. Okay. So this is the program and uh, I have already explained how the for loop executes and how the elements will be displayed. So here you can see <clears throat> for the value of i, i less than equal to four, then what will be the value of a of i? So for the value of i equal to zero, 0 less than equal to 4, yes, 0 less than equal to 4. This condition is true. If this condition is true, I can write the a of 0 is equal to, I can enter a new value. Suppose I am entering 10. This can be possible. Next, i value will be incremented as i plus plus is there. So i value will be incremented to 1. 1 less than equal to 4. This condition is true or this condition satisfies. So I can write a of one equal to suppose 12. Okay. Similarly, I value will be incremented by one that will be two, then two less than equal to four. If this condition satisfies, yes, this condition satisfies. Then I can write a of two equal to suppose 15. So in this way, the value will move to i equal to four. So four less than equal to four. Is it possible? Yes, is it possible? That means four is equal to four, that is true. So I can write A of four is equal to, suppose I'm entering 20. So in this way, I can enter the values of array. So the value of array, suppose A of zero will be 10, A of one will be 12, A of two will be 15, A of three suppose 17, and A of four suppose 20. So the values will be like this. And in the printf statement, we display the array elements. So when the printf statement, the next lines of code will be executed, for loop will display the array elements. So how it will display the array elements? You can see inside the for loop, I have declared a printf function, percentile d, a of i. So a of i means, for i value 0, here I am writing for i value 0, a of 0, a of i, that means a of 0 is what? a of 0 is 10. So this will be displayed in the output screen. a of 0, 
is equal to 10. For i value 1, a of 1 will be 12. For i value 2, a of 2 will be, suppose it's here 15. For i value 3, a of 3 will be 17. For i value 4, a of 4 will be 20. So this will be displayed in the output screen. So now let's move to my dev C++ editor and see how this program is executing. Here I'm opening my dev C++ editor. So I'm writing the program as in stdio.h. Void name opening curly bracket closing curly bracket int a five the size of array is five minus i semicolon next I'm writing print f within double quotation within bracket double quotation enter enter the elements in array colon slash n then semicolon scan f for loop for i equal to zero semicolon i less than equal to four semicolon i plus plus here i'm writing scan f double quotation percentile d then after the double quotation ampersand a of i bracket and semicolon okay next next i'll write printf function printf within double quotation display display the array elements display the array elements colon slash n this will print the elements in new line next for i equal to zero semicolon i less than equal to four semicolon i plus plus okay next printf printf percentile d comma a of i semicolon so here i can write a of percentile d equal to percentile d so here i have to write i comma a of i okay so now let's compile it and see what will be the output so i'm compiling it when i will compile it it will ask me to save the program so i'm saving the name of array suppose array one save as type will be c source files with the dot c extension now my program is complete you can see the errors and warnings are zero it means the program is correct and let's see what will be the output enter the elements in array so i am entering suppose 10 and 12 15 next 17 next 20 20 okay so display the array elements a of 0 equal to 10 a of 1 equal to 12 okay let's make some changes here slash n Ten and the suppose twenty three, suppose twenty one, thirty four, fifteen. You can see I have entered five elements a of that is uh, 10, 23, 21, 34, 15. and these elements are stored in a of zero, a of one, a of two, a of three, a of four. Okay, so you can see that. Uh, how the array elements are entered and what is the display. 
inside the display screen okay so this is this is the creation of an array i hope you understand how to create an array and uh, if you like this video then subscribe my channel and share it with your friends thanks for watching